Hello students how were you all i hope you all are fine and doing good today we will start our new chapter that is jocks and mugs before starting the chapter i want to tell you what is in the chapter in this chapter we will know how we can measure different liquids okay if it is in a bucket or it is in a glass or it is in a bottle wherever it is we can measure it okay the standard units for measuring capacity is liter this is the most important thing of this chapter is that whenever we are going to measure any capacity of a liquid it will be in liter like when we measure the length of any item we measure it in meter and when we uh, and, and here when we will measure the capacity of a liquid we will measure it in liter okay suppose there is a bucket full of water we can say that it is of 1 liter and here is there is a pot full of water we can say that the capacity or the amount of water in the pot is 2 liter along with liter there are more units the, those are kl means kiloliter hl means hectoliter dal means decaliter then l means liter then dl means deciliter then cl means centiliter then ml means milliliter so what are those units kiloliter hectoliter decaliter liter deciliter centiliter milliliter okay when we will go our journey or when we will start from here to here we will do multiplication and when we will go from here to here then we will do division okay each step we have to multiply by 10 so from here from kiloliter to hectoliter if we will move if we will multiply it by 10 again from hectoliter to deciliter if we will move we will, we will multiply it by 10 again if we will move from deciliter to liter we will multiply it by 10 in this way and similarly if we go from milliliter to centiliter we will divide by 10 if we go from centiliter to deciliter we will divide it by 10 when we will go liter to deciliter we will divide it by 10 in this way we have to do this there are some important formulas that is given Even here, what are those important formulas? Those are one kiloliter equals to ten hectoliter. One kiloliter equals to one thousand liter. One liter equals to one thousand milliliter. So similarly, we can do this too also. That is, one centiliter equals to how much milliliter? Let's see here. From centiliter to milliliter, if we will go. We have to multiply it by ten. That means one centiliter equals to ten milliliter. Next, one liter equals to how much centiliter? We know after liter there comes deciliter, then comes centiliter. So we will move from here to here. At first, we move from liter to deciliter that means multiply by 10 then again deciliter to centiliter that means multiply by 10 so 10 into 10 that means 100 so 1 liter equals to 100 centiliter in this way we have to do now we will go to the next page okay so here comes the second page what is their conversion we have to do this sums okay the what is the first one convert 2 liter into milliliter so we know 1 liter equals to 1000 
milliliter. We know this. Now here it is given two liter. So we will write here two liter equals to two into one thousand. That means two thousand milliliter. So in this way we have to do this sum next. 5 kiloliter equals to how much liter? At first we have to remember that 1 kiloliter means 1000 liter. So we will write that at first. That is 1 kiloliter equals to 1000 liter. We have to note it down at first. Next what is given here? 5 kiloliter. So we will write here 5 kiloliter. 5 kiloliter equals to 5 into 1000. So that means 5000 liter. So 5 kiloliter equals to 5000 liter. Next, we, you, uh, next is the sum number 3. 4 liter 150 milliliter into milliliter. This type of sum is very important. Okay, we have to convert 4 liter 150 milliliter into milliliter. So, at first we have to convert 4 liter into milliliter. We know 1 liter equals to 1000 milliliter. That means 4 liter will be 4 into 1000 that is 4000 milliliter. Next, what is given here? 150 milliliter. 150 milliliter is already in milliliter. So, we don't have to convert it. What we have to do? We have to add it. So, 4000 milliliter plus 150 milliliter. That means 4150 milliliter. So this is the answer that is 4 liter 150 milliliter will be 4150 milliliter. Why? How we have done this? Again I am telling you that is at first we have to see here that in which unit we have to convert. Okay, here 4 liter is given. Okay, we have to convert it into milliliter. So, we have to convert it. We will convert it in this way. 4 liter equals to 4 into 1000. That means 4000 milliliter. We converted it. Next, 150 milliliter is also given. But, 150 milliliter is already in milliliter. So, we do not have to convert it. We just have to add it. So, 4000 plus 150 means 4150. So this is our answer. Next we will go to the page number 3. In page number 3, here you can see there are 5 sums given. What you have to do? You have to do this 5 sums in your school copy. Okay? So, in your school copy, you will give heading the name of the chapter. That is jugs and mugs. After that, you will note down these 5 sums from the video by taking a screenshot. And after that, you will do these sums in your math copy. Okay? And you will get the answers of this five sums in the next video. Till then, practice your sums and stay good and stay happy. Thank you.